Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In this video, I am going to explain the coverage methods and the example for coverage methods. Okay, so let's start with the first method, sample method. So we have already used this sample method. What is this? This is used to trigger the cover group sampling. Okay, so sample method is used to sample the cover group and it can be called on the cover group. So in this column, I have listed all the coverage constructs. So where it, the method can be called on. Okay, and the second one is start method. So start method starts collecting the coverage information and it can be called on the cover group, cover point and cross coverage. Similarly stop method. So it stops collecting the coverage information and it can be called on the cover group, cover point and cross coverage. So you, we can say that the start and stop methods are uh, used to conditionally enable the coverage. Okay. So start method what it will do when this start method is called on the cover group or cover point or cross coverage it starts collecting the coverage information. So we can conditionally enable the uh, coverage by using the start and stop method. So how we have used the if construct similarly we can use the start and stop condition to conditionally enable the coverage. Okay. So we can conditionally enable the cover group or cover point or cross coverage by calling this start and stop method. So in the example I will explain in detail. And the next one is set ins name. So this set ins name is used to set the instance name. Okay, it sets the instance name to the given string. That means when the cover group has multiple instances, we can name each instance by giving the uh, by passing the string. Okay, it can be called on the cover group. So for example, if the cover group has three instances, C1, C2, C3, we can name each instance. C1 also we can name as cover group one or cover group two, cover group three. Like that, we can name the each instance by using the set ins name. Okay, we have to pass the string here. And the next one is get coverage. So this get coverage method is real type and here this arguments is optional. Okay, here you can pass the arguments also and without passing the arguments also we can call the get coverage method and it's a real type. So what it will do? It returns the cumulative or type coverage of all instances of coverage item. For example, if the cover group has three instances C1, C2, C3 and when we call this get coverage, it will, it will return the type coverage of all instances. So it will combine all three instances C1, C2, C3 and it will return the cumulative coverage and it can be called on cover group, cover point and cross coverage. Okay, this get coverage method can be called on cover group, cover point and cross coverage. Similarly, get inst coverage. So in the get coverage method, it returns the type coverage, right? If, if the cover group has multiple instances, it will combine all the instances and it will provide the coverage of the cover group. Similarly, get inst coverage. As the name suggests, it returns specific instance coverage on which it is called. Okay, so for each instance, we can call this get inst coverage and it will return the coverage uh, percentage. Okay, and it can be called on the cover group, cover point and cross coverage. And as I said, the get coverage method returns the cumulative or type coverage, which considers the contribution of all instances of a particular coverage item. So that's why it's a static method. Okay, get coverage is a static method that is a variable on both types. So we can use the scope resolution operator or dot method. So when, when we have a static method, we can access the static method in two ways, right? So we have already learned this concept in the OOPS. So when the when we have a static method, we can access that static method by using scope resolution operator or by using the dot operator okay so get coverage is a static method that is available on both types via the scope resolution operator and instances using the dot operator and in contrast the get inst coverage method returns the coverage of the specific instance on which it is invoked thus it can only be invoked via the dot operator okay so this is not a static method and it can be called by using dot operator and when the optional arguments are specified, the get coverage and get inst coverage methods assigns to the first argument the number of covered bins and to the second argument the number of coverage bins defined for the given coverage item. So I, I told that there are two uh, optional arguments right for the get inst coverage and get coverage. So the first one is number of covered bins. You can use the name as covered comma total. So that covered for the first argument specifies the number of covered bins and the second argument specifies the number of coverage bins defined for the given coverage item. Okay. So I'll show you what exactly this number of covered bins and number of coverage bins defined for the uh, given coverage item. Okay. Let's go to the example. So here is my example for the coverage methods. Here I have used all the methods that I explained in the PPT and let me explain the code first. Okay. So here I have four variables A, B, C, D all are four bits and here I have declared two variables covered and total. So it's a real type. Okay. So this covered and total is nothing but that optional argument. 
we have discussed about get inst coverage and get coverage right and there we have some we have two optional arguments so that variable i am declaring here okay covered and total so that is real type and again i have one more variable cgs underscore enable this is just a enable signal i am taking for the example okay and here is my cover group so in the cover group cg i am passing four variables range one range two xy okay range one and range two four bits and xy is also four bits so if we are passing the arguments means while constructing the cover group we should pass that values okay so four arguments i am taking four values i am passing here okay so inside the cover group i am defining option dot per instance is equals to one then i am defining the cover points so what are the bins for cover point x range one bins is equals to zero down to range one here i am using vector bins so what is the range one here i am uh, i am passing range one and range two right so this variables i am using it as a range so to provide the uh, range i have used the two variables range one and range two okay so range one i am using for the range one bins and range two i am using for the range two bins here okay so here i am constructing the cover group cg cv1 cg cv2 so this cover group has two instances okay cv1 and cv2 and for the first cv1 i am passing 1 to a comma b so what is this 1 to 1 is range 1 2 is range 2 okay that is nothing but 0 down to 1 0 down to 2 okay for this one 0 down to 1 0 down to 2 because range 1 is 1 range 2 is 2 and after that here i am passing a comma b so here x is x and y is nothing but a comma b now okay so this cover point a cover point b and we will see what is a and b in the initial begin okay and similarly cg cv2 so cg cv2 i am passing 3 6 cd so 3 is range 1 6 is range 2 x and y is nothing but cd okay so 0 down to 3 0 down to 6 here so this is how to pass the arguments in coverage construct okay so here cv1 dot x has two bins because cv1 dot x means this is a cv1 x here how many bins it has range 1 means 1 right so 0 1 total 2 bins so for y 0 down to range 2 range 2 is nothing but 2 that's why 0 down to 2 means 3 bins right so cv1 dot y has 3 bins similarly here 0 down to 3 means 4 bins and 0 down to 6 means 7 bins okay so this is about the cover group and in the initial begin i'm assigning the value for the enable signal cgs underscore enable is equals to 0 and why I'm using this enable signal here because I want to control this cover group okay whether to sample the cover group or not whether to collect the information about the coverage or not so these things we can control by using the start and stop method so when to start and when to stop that will be indicated by this enable signal okay so if this signal is one then I will start collecting the information for cover group CV2 otherwise I will stop collecting the information for cover group CV2 okay I'm only using CV2 here this is just an example to show you so how how we can control the uh, cover group by using start and stop method okay so I'll, I'll show you in the report you will understand at that time okay after that i'm setting the name for the instance cv1 and cv2 okay so we have cv1 and cv2 right for the cover group cg so i'm providing the name for that by using set in name so here we have to pass the string i told you right we have to pass the string so what is the name of the cv1 cv1 instance and for cv2 cv2 instance this is how you have to provide the name for the cover group instance okay by using the set in name and here i'm randomizing all the four variables by using randomize method okay 10 times i'm randomizing so randomize a comma b comma c comma d so if you pass the four arguments here it will randomize all the variables okay 10 times and after that for each randomization i'm sampling the cover group cv1 dot sample cv2 dot sample so till here randomization and sampling is done now i want to see the coverage result okay for cv1 dot x dot get in coverage covered comma total that means in the cv1 cover group we have x cover point so for this x cover point i want to see i want to see the uh, coverage result coverage percentage okay by using get inst coverage and here i am passing two arguments covered and total so covered means the number of covered bins so once the sampling is done we will get to know how many bins have covered or how many bins has hit right so that here it will provide the number of covered bins and total means how many bins we have defined for this cover point okay so zero down to range one means zero down to one total two bins are there so in the two bins how many bins have covered for this x cover point okay like that so here i'm printing all that and here cg x get coverage we, we know that get coverage is a static method that's why i'm using the scope resolution operator here okay just remember whenever we are using the static method we can use the scope resolution operator okay also we can use the dot method here see this is not a static method so we are only using dot here 
but for static method we can use dot also and scope resolution oper operator also to access the variable okay so cg x get coverage covered comma total and here cg get coverage covered comma total so here i am using cg cg means it will consider both cv1 and cv2 okay so it will provide the percentage of whole cover group and here cg x get coverage means whole cover group it will take it will not consider cv1 or cv2 it will it will combine both cv1 and cv2 and it will provide the percentage for this cover point x okay for cv1 and cv2 and in the first one cv1 dot x here it will consider only cv1 okay because we have used cv1 not cg so it will consider cv1 x okay wherever cg is there it will consider a whole cover group and if you are declaring instance means it will take only instance that's why get inst coverage okay so now i will run the code here you can see cv1 dot x dot get inst coverage covered comma total how, how much i am getting 50 right so 50 percent has covered and number of covered bins is 1 and total is 2 so we know that we have 2 bins for x right here 2 bins so total is 2 and the number of covered bins is 1 we will see in the report see for the cv1 x for the cv1 x 50% has covered that only we got right in the by using get inst coverage method and the number of cover there are two bins total is two bins and number of covered is only one so see here only this range one bins of zero covered not this one right so only this one is covered so the covered is one and the total is two covered is one total is two okay and, and the next one is cgx get coverage that means it will take it will consider both cv1 and cv2 and it will provide the percentage of x here okay so that's we will see so 25 percent we are getting and one is the covered bins and six is the total bins okay why six because it has two bins x this for cv1 x has two bins for cv2 x has four bins so total six bins are defined and in that only one bin is covered and we are getting 25 percent okay we will see that here if you see for cv2 x all are 0 0 it has not covered any coverage uh, percentage right it has not collect the coverage information why because that is because of this condition here i have provided the enable signal as 0 right so if it is a 0 means see if it if this signal is 1 means it will start collecting the cv2 otherwise it will stop collecting the coverage information for cv2 so since this uh, signal is 0 it has stopped collecting the information for cv2 that's why it has uh, there is no uh, percentage for this cv2 x or y okay so here you can see 0 0 percent it has not collected the information only because we have called the stop method we are conditionally controlling the coverage uh, information okay by using this start and stop method so just why what i will do is i will make it as one i will run this now you can see right for cv2 instance it has it has start collecting the information so if that signal is one if this enable signal is one then cv2 dot start previously it has we have called the stop method because the signal was zero so else is zero right so it, we have stopped the stopped collecting the information but now we have start collecting the information okay so now we are getting the information in the result so now we will see we were seeing this second one right cgx so total is six and uh, the number of covered bins is two and 37 percent we are getting 37.5 so cv1x means 50 and cv2 x means 25 so 50 plus 25 means 75 so 75 by 2 means what 75 by 2 means 7.5 right so that's how it will calculate and number only two bins are covered in the six bins so how we will see see for six only this bin has covered and in cv2 in cv2 x only this bin has covered so total two bins covered for uh, six bins okay and the third one is cg get coverage cg means it will consider both cv1 and cv2 whole cover group okay get coverage it is 30 30.6 30 and four bins are covered in 16 bins so how 16 bins because if you see here cv1 we know that we have five bins and for cv2 we have total 11 bits so 11 plus 5 means 16 right so total is 16 
and in that four bins are covered and the total percentage is 30 percent okay that you can see here so this is for cg okay type coverage method cg so cg has achieved 30.654 percentage coverage okay so this is how to see the result so everything we will get in the report only but this is just a method coverage methods how to get the coverage uh, information by using the coverage methods okay so this is all about the coverage methods in the next video we will see the coverage options okay if you have any doubts please comment it down and i will try to reply okay thank you